It is Monday, April 15th, 2024. I'm just heading down to my yarn room now. My craft room. Um, I'm a little bit late today. Just because... Um, it's been a busy day. It's been a busy week, been a busy day. <sighs> um, I'm tired. <laughs> and it's only like 2.30, so there's that. Um, but hey, how are you guys doing? Last time we left off, I was working on a um, Alpine Stitch hat. I'm just logging into my computer real quick. Um, doing an Alpine Stitch hat. And I was working in the round. Well, I had to change that. Because, hello, Marsha. Um, I had to change that because I realized that it just didn't look... I mean, I, that's why I kind of sort of don't like starting stuff online. Because I am paying attention to everything else except for what I'm doing. So I ended up ripping all of that away and we started, we started a, um, started a nail. And I'm going to show you what I have so far in just a second. But, um, yeah, so I, let me actually plug in my phone real quick. So. The yarn that I have, I'm obsessed with. Like, absolutely obsessed with. And so, I bought another skein of it. <laughs> and so, this is the what the yarn looks like. Like, look how gorgeous that is. Look how pretty that is. Where is the yarn band? Oh, here's the yarn band. I got so much paper and stuff on my desk. So, this is the yarn band. It's Stitching with Yarn. It is Berry Speckles, one of a kind, worsted merino, 100% super wasp merino, wool, and absolutely great, delicious yarn. Um, I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with how it's coming out. If, so, as y'all can see, I've been doing the Alpine Stitch. I was, I had st originally started it in the round, but... I stopped. <laughs> I stopped doing it um, because it just wasn't turning out right. And I think I made it too small anyway. I I, I mean, looking at it right now, it kind of looks too small, but it does fit my head. And the thing about mer merino wool is just like you do have some give to it. So it will stretch. So it will look cute. I don't know. My hair makes it look weird. But um, yeah, did you guys check? out the video that I did or oh, I posted last excuse me that I posted on Sunday mm. Sunny says hey hey Sunny um so I did post a video not too long ago yesterday it's a giveaway video um it's a review slash giveaway video for my latest um Oh, what's it called? What do they call? Partner. So I'm just gonna pin it. Um. I want to eat your oranges. I don't have any oranges. Um, but yeah, so I, I did a giveaway video and then, um, so yeah, we're just going to keep going on with this Alpine stitch and just talking and chilling and, and relaxing. Um, it's be absolutely beautiful outside. Absolutely gorgeous. The air is nice. The sun isn't too hot um so we went out for a little bit today hello 
Re Re Risa one two three. I hope I said that right. Hello. Wow, it looks so good. Thank you, that hijab girly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I think I'm like halfway done with it. Paula says, hey, hey, Paula. How are you doing? How was your weekend? I feel like nowadays, especially because it's summer, like my days are going to fly by so fast because we're always doing something. Today, I went to the gym for the first time in like four years, but I was only in there for 30 minutes because like the daycare part like closed and I was like, wow, <laughs> after I signed up and everything, I only had 30 minutes left. So I was like, all right, well, I'm going to enjoy this 30 minutes. Well, it really was only like 25 minutes, but um, we're going to start again tomorrow. And I really want to get in the gym. Um, I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm just trying to like. Um, I just want like my back to feel better. So I want to strengthen my back. I want to strengthen my like leg muscles and arm muscles. But I'm not looking to lose any weight. I am very happy with the skin I am. I just want to feel more comfortable like in my body and not have like so many aches and pains. I'm doing great. Almost done with the cardigan now. What is everyone up to? Yeah. Um, so I, this is what my, I absolutely love these stitches. Like they are gorgeous to die for. Um, I love this color. So I got another skein of it. I talked to the dyer and I said, I really wish <laughs> I had bought the other one. And she was like, oh, well, there's one last one. There's one last skein of yarn. And you know how on Etsy you can see that's in two other people's carts or however many people are also looking at it? I snatched that thing up. I always feel like a bandit <laughs> um, whenever I snatch something out of somebody else's cart and just like, oop, mine now and check out really quick. I also love going on websites and seeing like there's one more in stock and then I buy the last one and then I like like refreshing the page <laughs> and seeing that they are now out of stock. I don't know why it's so satisfying to me. Maybe it's like, maybe I'm the villain. <laughs> maybe I just like the gratification of I was the last one to have it. I was the last one to get the last little bit. <laughs> But yeah, so I got another skein of this. So, because uh, at first, oh, by the way, I have my yarn on this mini minder. It's and it's like hanging up on my, com uh, what's it called? What is this called? Like a stand for, uh, my camera, like a camera stand. And so that's what my yarn is on. And I'm not gonna lie, I okay. So I have thoughts about the the yarn minders or whatever, right? I like them. I think they're super cute, but very impractical <laughs> because this is probably the only place in my house that I can hang it up on. Hello, Michelle. Happy Monday. Yes, girly. So I, I feel like those things are not really like to like, I think it's like kind of a gimmick. Like, well, maybe in my neck of the woods but i feel like it's just like i have nowhere to hang this up at so nine times out of ten it's like sitting in my lap or something like that or like you're looking for places to use it and i'm just like i rather just use my yarn bowl or pull it out of a bag or something i don't know have you actually used it on your wrist i was i was curious yeah i did like use it on my wrist but I have kids, so, so this is literally, cause I, I had took this to my nephew's um, birthday party. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get some footage. But literally kids were like, ooh, something's hanging. And they just started doing this. And I was like, no! So if you have children, feral children like I do, um, and I literally just tangled it up. And then also like, it gets tangled up. Let me show you. It gets tangled up in right here and it's so annoying. These things are not as glamorous as everybody is making it seem. 
<laughs> I think I might do a whole video on it. Aaliyah says, hey everyone. Hey girl. Happy Monday. If Monday can be happy. Uh, I know some people really hate Mondays. I used to, when I used to work a corporate job, it was literally the worst because you come back to work with all these emails and I hated it. <laughs> I hated it so much. But I like I I was able when I was working in corporate like um, I was able to work from home so I would work from home on Mondays so then <laughs> I d wouldn't have to feel that way. I have the wool genie, but only certain skeins work well with it. Yeah, like stuff like that. I'm just like, you know, I think I'm just better off with a bag, like a snap bag. I have, I got one of those snap bags from, it's upstairs. I wish I could show you. Sometimes I re-kick skiing so I can center pull. Yeah, like, and this is one of those things where you can, you have to like pull from, I, I don't mind pulling from the outside. Like it doesn't matter to me, but I do like, um... I do like center pulling most of the time. Like if I know I'm finishing the skein, then I'll center pull. Or if I know that I'm going to be finishing the skein, I'll work from the outside. But if I don't, if I know I'm not going to finish the skein, then I'll pull from the center. That's just my personal preference. Paula says I have one too, and the car works okay on the wrist, in my opinion. Yeah, I just feel like it just gets caught on so many things. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it, but would I buy another one? No. Because <laughs> um, I'm, like, trying all of these different, like, yarn and, like, crochet accessories because eventually I do want to, like, create my own, like, kit or whatever, like, or crochet essentials or, like, a kit of, like, my favorite crochet accessories and tools and stuff. This is not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> this is not one of them and maybe it's just my lifestyle like maybe my lifestyle is just too hectic for something like this and I move around too much I've never really you know like it's cool but it's like I really just use a snap bag <laughs> is that a fire hook it is it is this is the opal o fire hook honestly the um the Opal or fire hooks are the only hooks that I use, <laughs> like from O Fire. Um, because when I first saw it, these were the ones that really caught my eye. When I first like came across O Fire, these were the only hooks. Miriam says, Hey, just got here. Hey girly. Um, these were the only hooks. It was this and maybe like three other hooks. I got I found well I didn't find I discovered O Fire when she ver first just like came out with hooks right I think she came out with the September the October and the November and she was coming out with the December hook when I came across her and now she has such a vast array of hooks I can't even keep up but yeah I I like the opal hook the most I have a thing for New Year's Eve yarn. I have a thing for New Year's Eve yarn. What's New Year's Eve yarn? Is like you buy a yarn on New Year's Eve? Cause if that's the case, um, can I <laughs> can I join? Saying yeah, I yeah, and I I felt like I hadn't been using her hooks enough, so I was like, let me go ahead and break out and this and this hook with this project looks really cute yeah marsha tell us what is new year's eve yarn is that a special yarn only made on new year's eve i know a lot of indie yarn dyers were making yarn for the eclipse and i did buy a skein from like my local yarn dyer um i think it's absolutely beautiful i, well, I bought a mini skein y'all y'all will see it in my next video i think i think Mm, I don't know if it's going to be the next video or the video after I have to look at my calendar. But the yarn crawl was so much fun. Um, do I think I will do it again? It definitely depends. Like, it really does depend. Um, I, it was kind of sad to do the yarn crawl by myself. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and I also have kids. So I think I might just do the yarn crawl online next year. I don't know. I don't know. 
But yeah, make sure y'all check out my latest video. I'm doing a giveaway with my newest partner, which is Yeezy. Yeezy, he, I don't even have the hat up here with me, but they are, uh, I have the kit though. I am giving away a cat beanie kit um, to one lucky subscriber who answers into the giveaway, which is super exciting. Oh no, I just got some potions and pearls on the other day and I used it in my giveaway last night. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I love potions and pearls yarn so much. I remember when I first came across her on TikTok, I was like, this is so pretty. <laughs> I love her yarn so much. And I, you know what's crazy is I see your live streams all the time. And then I click on it and then the baby wakes up. And so I never get to actually watch. Or my husband called my phone. So I never actually get to watch your full live stream, which is really depressing. But hopefully one day I will get, get some time to myself. I got some more in my Etsy cart right now. Yes, her yarn is just, it's so nice. And she also like like really and truly is such a sweet person and i am very happy to be friends with her i am very lucky to be her friend and she just absolutely the sweetest wendy and i really do love working with indie yarn dyers and getting them the exposure and stuff y'all let me know what other yeah it's so gorgeous and soft absolutely um y'all let me know what other indie yarn dyers should i check out and i'm not talking about like boutique indie yarn dyers or i'm talking about like micro like indie yarn dyers like they may dye like a few batches here and there and sell it on their etsy that's what i'm trying to look for i was born on new year's eve and it's a sparkly new yarn from hershner's oh oh wait well now i gotta look at it see i love hershner's um i gotta see y'all know i when somebody um recommends something in the chat i always gotta see what it looked like. Hirschner's. My grandma got me into Hirschner's. Um, New Year. Oh, this is dropping prices. Your savings is going up. What is Hirschner's? Oh, I haven't been on here in a while. What are they doing? Oh my goodness. Okay, New Year. New Year's yarn. Mm. New Year's not bad yarn pack. Is that what you're talking about? Because that is pretty. It's like a gold yarn. Super cute. Um, Crochet in agreement. Melissa, she has an Etsy shop. I mentioned her before. A wonderful dyer. She has... She has a YouTuber channel called... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Crochet in Agreement. Yeah, I do remember. I did check her out. I didn't reach out to her, though. I'll have to check out her Etsy. But, um... Yeah, Hershers looks like they are... Hershers better not be going out of... No. Because I... My grandma, who lives on my dad's side... Is that Tunisian Crochet? Oh, my... I hate when they, like, show me something. That looks like Tunisian crochet from afar. I might be wrong. But yeah. Um, my grandma used to always shop at Hershner's. My grandma on my dad's side. She's always talking about, oh, Hershner's has this in their catalog. So that's how I got, got into Hershner's. And my dad orders yarn from Hershner's all the time for her too. Because they have like... Cameron and stuff like that. So I love, 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 love. Like if they don't have it in Michaels, I would definitely, excuse me. I definitely would go on, um, I'm super tired. I would go on Hershner's and get it there. And like, also they'd be having like really good deals because, um, like some yarn that is either it's like just genuinely cheaper than if you get it from michael sometimes 
I ordered the Tunisian hook set from AliExpress. Good. <laughs> I I wish that I could buy them all and just give them away because I feel like every single last person who buys or wants to learn how to Tunisian crochet should have a set of hooks from AliExpress. I don't care. I don't care. Everybody needs a set from them. Um, I ordered when I have a free shipping coupon. Yes, I, I love free shipping. I'd rather have free shipping and pay like $200 and stuff then then buy then have like thirteen dollars worth of stuff have to pay sh free shipping <laughs> i mean pay for shipping i hate paying for shipping because it's not like i can ever it's not you know i can't get that money back <laughs> but yeah i am obsessed i need to uh, now you got me on her shirts. let me let me get out of here <laughs> um but yeah so what else was i I was just about to say something. Oh, yeah. So, I... Um, what was I about to say? I forgot what I was about to say, y'all. <laughs> mm, what else are you guys working on? Oh yeah, indie yarn, indie yarn dyers. Let me let me know. We have um, crocheting agreement. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Matter of fact, let me look up her Etsy now. But like, she does like acrylic. From what I saw, she does like acrylic yarn. She dyes acrylic yarn, which I'm like, how do you do that? <laughs> Um, yes, hand dyed yarn. Oh, yeah, she has some really cute colorways. Ooh, this one's pretty. Yeah, the videos that I saw of hers, she was like dyeing acrylic yarn. Designing a sweater like I need to start another project. Girl, <laughs> girl, don't talk to me about... Don't talk to me about starting another project. <laughs> it's okay if you do, but like... I'm the worst person when it comes to starting another project. Wool cotton acrylic. Oh, so she does like different. Oh, wow. You can literally. Okay, this is like probably the most interesting. Because I've never seen an indie yarn dyer. Oh, and she ships. She's in Virginia. Wow. I've never seen an indie yarn dyer um, offer acrylic yarn. I think that's crazy. Yeah, I'm definitely going to reach out to her. Uh, I need to write Well, I'm, I'm going to keep it up on my computer so I can reach out to her. But, because normally it's just like wool. And she also offers like Pima cotton and bamboo DK. Ooh, okay. How pretty. Okay, yeah, I definitely have to check her out. I have so many project bags. My goal is to at least finish one whip a week. Girl, that is ambitious. <laughs> I just want to finish. I want to finish this. Yeah, Melissa offers all. Yeah, she's like, that's like really cool. Um, That's ambitious too. I just want to finish my pattern test. <laughs> I've been working on it a lot. Obviously, I'm not working on it now, but I just needed to switch up. Um, I want to finish my pattern test by at least the back panel because then all I would have to do is the sleeves and the ribbing and that wouldn't, you know, that wouldn't take too long. I want to finish the back panel at least by the end of this week and then hopefully finish the sweater by next weekend. That would be great. And then this hat, um, I, I want to be able to finish this by 
by the end of this week so like friday or something but yeah so um i'm gonna put up a poll really quick and i'm gonna keep up the poll for the rest of the live stream what should i call my podcast because i still don't have a name for it <laughs> What should I call my podcast? Should I call it, uh, The Yarn Over Podcast? Or should I call it The Frog It Pod? Mm. Or my other one was, what was my other idea? Oh, the um, Cozy, was it Get Cozy Podcast? And I spelled get wrong. Wow. I also spelled frog wrong. Wow. I'm going to go back to school. Okay, Get Cozy <laughs> Podcast. And what that is going to be like is like, every wednesday or whenever i go live on wednesday um fortunate creation says hi hello 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 um so y'all let me know what i should name my pot my podcast um because every wednesday i come on here i'm gonna talk about like a certain topic or something um ranging from you know maybe crochet drama or maybe i'll give my opinion on something or whatever 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 um we did a podcast on joanne's bankruptcy um we also did a podcast on i forgot what it was and then we um this week's topic is going to be about copying like can you really copy somebody else's pattern or i'm gonna call it like is it a cop copying or coincidence like uh, well i'm gonna just keep that there so if you want to tune in on wednesday we go live around two o'clock on wednesdays and it's a little bit more structured and um mondays and fridays are a little bit more laid back where i actually work on like stuff and well, i i just really want to kind of keep my um content like fluid and all the other stuff so yeah oh that's such a delicate subject it is but i feel like nobody is really like talking about it because i feel like as somebody who's is a in aspiring <laughs> so as somebody who is aspiring to be a designer i feel like every time i come up with a subject or every time i come up with a design i'll like look and see and make sure like oh yeah let me make sure no one has ever made this before okay cool no one's ever made this before and then like maybe a week later somebody comes out with that design or somebody is like um oh i i designed this five years ago and i just never seen it <laughs> and um somebody i think in the last i think my podcast or something made a comment saying like yeah you should still come out with the pattern um because everybody has their different twist on it even though it may look similar Nobody owns the stitches, and there are only so many ways to crochet a sweater. It happens to be coincidental. Yeah, I agree. I think if you change it a bit or somehow make it your own, it could be yours, just like a recipe. Okay, I like that take. Yes, that happens to me all the time. Exactly. And the thing is, is like, there's so much drama, especially when it comes to knitting and crochet, of people like pointing the finger and being like, you stole my design, you stole this, you stole that. But like, can you really can you really still uh um uh, what's it call it so i'm gonna keep that topic for wednesday and um yeah mondays i like just like to come up here and you know chill out and talk about yarn and what are we buying i um so i just put out a video this past 
Sunday, yesterday, because today's Monday, tomorrow, yesterday was Sunday, um, it was a review on a crochet kit by our newest partner, Yeez He. I'm going to be honest, I absolutely love this new partner. I can't wait to work with them more. Um, based off of the comments that people post and tell me what they're interested in is going to be the next giveaway. So just a hint, 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 and go watch that video and enter into the giveaway. I'm very fortunate enough that my partners are so kind to also participate in sponsoring giveaways. So I'm very happy about that. Fortunate says, I see people copying my video ideas all the time. You just have to smile and keep it upbeat. I agree. Oh, girl. Oh, I can't. Oh. I cannot explain the amount of frustration I have when I believe that somebody has copied my own, like, video idea. Or, like, something that I do in my video. Or my intros. Or my outros or my style of video it's it or like if i talk about a subject and i hit like key points then somebody will use those key points that i pa that i picked out in their video and like part of me is like oh my gosh maybe i should make a video about it because i'm like obviously they're big and it's bigger creators who do this it'll be a bigger creator and i'm like let me not. <laughs> yeah, she said, consider it a compliment. Let me not. Because I don't want to create drama. I'd rather talk about drama than create the drama myself. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, let's keep it what it is. Um, Looking forward to it. I like kids if they're reasonable. I agree. As long as they're reasonable. And the Yeezy kits, I feel like, are reasonable for what you get. At least the one that I experienced. And that's why I want to try their other ones. Um, I have voiced too many... I have voiced too many ideas and then I see other channels do it. It kind of makes me smile because it's like a compliment. But now I'm keeping ideas to myself until I have a chance to film. Yes, yes, girl, yes. And I don't, like... Sometimes it's like, okay, I get it. Like, I, I'm the best. Um, and you just want to, oh, that's a great idea. Let me do it. But, like, sometimes it's so niche to what I do on this channel. Or, like, it's so niche to my community. It's kind of like, okay, like, what are you doing? It doesn't even fit with your aesthetic. Like, what are you doing? Um, You know what I'm saying? Like, for example... Here on my channel, I I specifically, genuinely like working with brands and, and smaller. Uh, I like sm working with smaller companies, and I like working with smaller brands when they first like are starting, right? And the reason this is because as somebody who had multiple small businesses I can remember wanting somebody to help <laughs> or like wanting somebody to help me put myself out there and not ask for an arm and a leg to do it right and that's so that's that's my thing so when I see people and that's always been my goal is to kind of like help people push their stuff and that's why I'm so proud of like kind of the stuff that I'm doing now but like when when I see other people doing it for the wrong reasons and not to build up that small business, but to criticize them on what they're not doing and what, you know, um, or like reviewing them and not really saying like, or not really being, how do I explain this? having a small business they're just starting out and then like you need to fix this and this and this and this and this. this is a bad company don't buy from them and like bring them down i think it's like not cool i'm always trying my best to find companies and use like smaller businesses and shop local and stuff like that because you know as much as we want like 
this craft to stay alive and to continue to bring in new talent if we build an environment of people constantly constantly bringing back oh my gosh people constantly bringing down indie art dyers people constantly bringing down designers who are just starting out it or people who are wanting to um like people who make resin hooks i'm not much of like a handmade like um uh, molded you know like pouring their own and stuff like that um that's not my thing oh fire and like furrows are literally the only ones that i really like but like bringing down those people and you know looking from at somebody's business that they're just starting out why would you criticize them why would you put them out there in a negative light you know what i'm saying so that's always been my my goal um at least give them a chance i love watching channels that review little people and shops yeah i do too like give them a chance let them shine and if you don't have anything positive to say about them don't say it don't <laughs> don't do it don't 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 bring them up just to make like we love seeing people be criticized you know like criticized but like let's not do it to people who aren't ready for it right I belong to a group in the states that we should cheer one another all we are all crafters exactly i tried resin for the first time today let's just say i need to know how to get resin out of my sink oh no yikes oh my goodness i hope you <laughs> i hope you um find out how to fix that issue oh my goodness but yeah that's always how i've always been like don't don't push people down don't be pointing the finger. Don't be criticizing and being super hypercritical of people who are not ready for it. Okay. Now, you know the people who you can be super hypercritical of? Michaels, <laughs> Joanne's, Hobby Lobby, these big craft stores that if you were to. Oh no, she said it's very sticky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, if you were to voice your opinion about them, it don't hurt them because hundreds of other people are don't care and there's you know you can voice your opinion and it's not going to hurt them right it's not going to monetarily hurt these people because they're still making millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars a day but don't go to a little mom and pop business and start talking mess right that's not fair because <laughs> they're still starting out so because i have had plenty of people reach out to me asking me to review their stuff to review their yarn and i can see by their website that they're not ready for it like for example i'm oh uh should i show should i should i should i should i should i show you all the last person who reached out to me i guess i could i need to i kind of need your um i kind of need help <laughs> because i had a i had a company reach out to me right and they their specialty is glow in the dark yarn and thread and like reflective yarn and thread right and i'm like i don't use glow in the dark thread <laughs> i don't i don't use glow in the dark yarn i do i think i i mean this is i use like the lime brand one this is i literally have a whole nother skein of it it's in my giveaway box because i have not used it i don't like the texture of it it's like acrylic so i'm just like i don't know and i'm looking at their website and i can't tell i cannot tell if they're like a uh mom and pop <laughs> i can't tell their mom and pop like store i genuinely cannot tell because their website looks so good and oh you know what i think i just answered my question <laughs> this is a 
I think this is a um Asian like a Asian store. Like from China, maybe. I don't know. I'm always like iffy about those two. But yeah, they they have hand, like glow in the dark like that's all they sell is like glow in the dark yarn. And I'm looking at their kits. They're not really kits, they're more like bundles. Um and I'm just like do I even try? I think the yarn I have was from Lion Brand. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I should review them. Let me let me just show y'all. And then y'all let me know in the comments. Should I go ahead and review them? Because they want to send me some yarn. And I'm thinking, like, if the yarn is good, maybe. But, yeah, so it's called Bling Bling. Um, and they're... Let me just go to their... What's it called? And they sell, like, all of this, like, glow-in-the-dark yarn. It's very niche. Glow-in-the-dark yarn, glow-in-the-dark thread, reflective yarn, and reflective thread, right? And I just, that's, I don't use this stuff. So I'm just like, ugh, should I just get it, review it, and then give it away? I don't know. Oh, wait. It says based on 1,993 reviews. But you can't see any reviews. I don't know. Sure, if they're honest or if you get... Yeah, I'm going to reply back to them and ask them, like, do you want me to give you my, like, actual <laughs> opinion? Or what? But, yeah. I, I think I would rather just, like, get it. If it's good, then I'll give it away. If it's bad, then I'll donate it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, but I'm always iffy about... Um, like, I'm very particular about the partnerships that I... Take on. Because... I have to put in the work for it. If I can in the dark, good for power outage. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, I just don't... I don't ever find myself thinking of glowing the dark stuff. Like, I, I see this for people who are, like, people who make amigurumis. I feel like people who make amigurumis would love a glow in the dark yarn. And maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll just do that. <laughs> Molly says, hi. Hello, Molly. So, yeah. That's just me. I don't know. I don't know. I guess y'all just find out if, <laughs> if I did type, decide to take it on or not. Yeah, I think I'm a groomy kids clothes and keychains. Yeah, I think so too. Like, I think those are really the only applicable because I don't find glow in the dark. Like, it's cool, but I don't use it. I don't use it. <sighs> but yeah, it is absolutely lovely outside. Um, I do got to wash off my car because all that pollen. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for liking up the video. Um, the pollen outside gives me a headache every single time I leave the house. Oh my goodness. I don't have allergies, but... Oh, and some fun book covers. I'm sure there's an audience out there for it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think you'll probably be better off for a giveaway. <laughs> I think that it'll be a good like little giveaway thing. So we'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna reply back to this email. <laughs> Girl, allergies are bad. Yeah. Bad here, yeah. I literally get a headache every single time I leave my house. Cause I'm just like, oh my gosh. But you know, drink a lot of water. And take your local honey, and you'll be fine. 
I took it a little bit late this year though. Cause spring kind of popped up on us out of nowhere. Like one minute it was chilly and the next minute I'm in short sleeves. <laughs> But I have our windows open upstairs and it's bringing in all that nice fresh air and it's so, it's so nice. Because I live with a house full of boys so it's always smelling some type of weird. So, literally the only room in the house that smells good is my, my craft room. Which is very unfortunate but... <laughs> So yeah. Um, but we definitely got to go to the beach. Me and my best friend always try to make a beach trip. We didn't go last. Did we? Uh, we didn't go. I don't think we went last year. But I do think that just me and my husband did. And then I think like um we also are trying to make a trip to go to Bush Gardens. So. Yeah, I haven't been to Bush Gardens in a while. Well, I went in May. We went for our anniversary, and so um, that's exciting. Me and my husband's anniversary. We're gonna be celebrating five years of marriage. How exciting! Is it five years? Yeah, five years of marriage. How exciting! Yep. Um, we got a gift card to like this really fancy restaurant. <laughs> so we're going to be going there. And then if we can get somebody to watch the kids. Um, then we are going to, I don't know, maybe stay the night at a nice fancy hotel. With some... I, the main reason that I like going to hotels instead of staying at home is the bed sheets. That's my favorite. <laughs> I love experiencing not having to clean up after myself. Not saying that I'm so slob or anything. But like not having to make the bed and not having to, you know, cook for myself. And just, just you know, just be out with no kids. Because I think, like, maybe for one year of our marriage, we were without kids. <laughs> we knew that we wanted kids uh, as soon as we met each other. So, my thing, my thing has always been, like, I want to have my kids early in life. Raise them while I still have the energy. And then enjoy them and their personalities as I'm older because like my mom she's like 55 I think and I am 30 well I'll be th I'll be 30 this year I still make the bed even in the hotel girl you need to uh relax <laughs> no I understand if you're somebody who makes your bed every single day not making a bed is like abnormal so I can get that but me I want to go somewhere where I don't have to do chores okay because <laughs> that's all I do cook clean change diapers fill bottles uh hand out apple juice hand out orange juice uh uh, give out snacks all that stuff so I'm just like I just want to go without the children <laughs> so yeah oh I messed up I why was I doing I don't know why I was doing like single crochet okay what did I do somewhere I went from doing double crochet to single crochet what hold up i just did this whole row in single crochet that's weird let me change this did i really no 
Oh, I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that happened. All right, I think here's where it started. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I'm making a hat using the Alpine stitch. And the Alpine stitch is like one of those stitches where if I don't, if I have like variegated yarn and I don't know exactly what to do, then I'm going to make the Alpine stitch. Super easy. If you know how to single crochet and double crochet and front post double crochet and you know how to count, then this is easy like a bucket hat no it's gonna be a cat beanie um so what i'm doing is i'm i'm making it flat and then i'm going to sew up the seam going up and then i'm gonna sew it across or a beanie yeah like a cat a little cat beanie because i made the other cat beanie for the video and i enjoyed that so much that i want another one but i wanted it in pink and then, um, I don't know about y'all, but I just like wearing hats in general all year long. And I've been wanting to make myself a few hats. Like, I wanted a hat that was pink, and then I wanted a neutral hat, and I just never made them. And then I wanted, like, a, a bandana. I got some yarn for a bandana. I'm going to show y'all. La, la, la. I have this gorgeous single. Oh, y'all just saw my whole background. <laughs> I have this gorgeous single ply roving from Malabrego. If y'all don't know, Malabrego is my favorite um, yarn. Like, hands down, it's one of my favorite yarns. I forgot what this is called. Um, she said, cat, yes, cat beanie is something my daughter has me make her and her friends a lot. Had a little three-year-old patient. She requested one and she looks so cute in it. Yeah. I love them. Everybody loves them. And it, it brings me so much joy. They, when they wound this, they wound this thing pretty tight. Okay. So this is, um, I can't wait. I don't know what I'm going to, I, well, I know I want to make like some type of headband. Um, this is in the color Indo Indonesia, and it's in the Washed. Let me take this. <laughs> Let me take this off. I don't know why they do this, but yeah, this is my favorite like yarn washed it w-a-s-t-h-e-d in the color indonesia and it's super pretty i purchased some malabrigo the other day yes i love malabrigo like you really can't go wrong especially i love their cool colors and their pinks it's so pretty like i love all their young so I can't wait and I have like anniversario and I also have some angora so I don't know if I'm going to incorporate that as well <laughs> but yes Milan, Milan says hi been lurking for a bit enjoying the live what kind of yarn are you using for your cat beanie it's very pretty hello <laughs> um so i'm using this indie yarn dyer her yarn is the etsy store is called stitching with yarn stitching with yarn and it's hand dyed in oklahoma that's her etsy store stitching with yarn and it's in the color berry speckled one of a kind worsted weight merino and it is to die for yes it's to die for and so i will say i did buy the last skein of this i'm so sorry not really <laughs> um it's super pretty it looks amazing in the ball 
but it looks even better stitched up and I am absolutely obsessed. It's giving like Barbie artist, right? And I, I just like, every time I look at it, I'm like, oh my God, this is so pretty. And I've been, ever since I got it, I've been wanting to show it off and use it. So yeah, love this yarn. But yeah, the next little project that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make myself, cause I wanted like a headband, maybe like, um, I don't know, maybe like a bandana or something. Um, but I want to kind of use up some of these like mini skeins that I have. It's very happy. Yes, it just brings, you know how like some yarn just brings you so much joy. That's how I feel about this yarn. <laughs> and, like, I mean, granted, yarn brings me so much joy in general. But like, you can tell that she... She packed this yarn with any type of happiness. Like there's purples in here, pinks, like a little pop of like orange in here. And it's just like, it brings me so much joy just looking at it. And that's why I was so happy when you guys voted for it in the, um, in my last stream, I asked you guys which yarn I should use for my hat. And I had this yarn and I had a blue yarn and you guys picked the pink one. I was low-key really happy that you guys picked the pink one. Um, because it just brings me so much joy. And happiness. And I just was, I'm just so pleased with it, how everything is turning out. And since I got the other one, that means I can probably um, add pom-poms and also add a ribbing to it to make it like last a little bit longer. Marsha says, great colors. Yes, thank you so much. I am so happy with this yarn. That's why I like, like you can find, like I'm not saying like some indie yarn dyers, everything that they have is great, but like it'll be that one that makes you fall in love. But yeah, I love like indie yarn dyers. I, I kinda wanna get into um, hand dyeing yarn um but that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot of work and that's a lot of knowledge and know how to do something excuse me so i've always been like overwhelmed with trying to learn how to dye yarn but it is something that i would like to get into maybe like not this year maybe not even next year maybe the year after that i might get into dyeing some yarn um, I think that'll be a cute little series on this channel of me, like, navigating the world of yarn dyeing. What do you guys think? All right, I'm trying to get into this last stitch. And then once I finish this row, we're going to see what y'all think of the new podcast name. It's gorgeous, the yarn you're working with right now. Yes, I love it so much. It really does like, like make my heart flutter. I don't know. I never felt this way about a yarn before. <laughs> um, This it just brings me so much. That's why I like hand dyed yarn because you really can feel like the person's personality shining through. So I'm going to finish this row and then we're going to look at the poll and see what you guys think I should name my podcast. And then we'll wrap up the live for today because I've been on here for almost an hour. That hour went by really fast too. But yeah, if you're watching this right now and um, you want to watch the my videos a day earlier, consider being a member. Members get exclusive content behind the scenes. Um, when I go back to writing patterns, you guys will get peeks at the pattern. Help me decide what colors I should do my projects. Um, get videos a day earlier. Did I already say that? 
Um, we are going to be doing crochet alongs as well as there's uh, only exclusive videos for members. For example, I will be my next, uh, my first ever exclusive member video will be a um, tutorial on how to make tea towel holders and as well as we're going to be creating a um like a dishcloth design together as well so if you are interested in that right beside my name there is a join button and it gives you the different tiers and what i offer it just helps it's just another way to support the channel absolutely no pressure to do it but if you're somebody like Paula, I think Paula's still in here, um, who values that type of content, then go ahead. Why not? Bam. I almost want to switch hooks. But I'm really enjoying the point that the O Fire hook has. Because it really is getting like through those stitches very nicely. It's just that the acrylic is um just not as fast. I kinda wanna go a little bit fast. Well, I wanna be finished with this project a little bit faster. But it might just be me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alrighty. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Alright. Alright, let's see what the poll says about you. Uh, I'll give y'all like one or two more minutes to participate in the poll. What should I name my podcast? If you don't know, every Wednesday I get on here um, and give my opinions on different topics when it comes to crochet or fiber arts. The next um the next podcast this wednesday we're going to be talking about is it copying or coincidence so if you're interested in that type of content make sure you subscribe to the channel all right and let's end the poll all right so the get cozy podcast one so i guess we'll just keep it <laughs> keep it what it is what time is it two o'clock 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 2 p.m. ish. It lasts for about an hour. Just like these live streams. These live streams I like to do on my phone because it's just easier. Um, but on Wednesdays, I use like Streamlabs or whatever. And I do it from my computer and I have like multiple cameras. Well, I'm trying to get multiple cameras set up and stuff like that. So you have different angles. Um, and then we talk about like different techniques. If you have questions about Tunisian crochet, I'll have like a certain time or a certain day. Um, especially if a lot of people are having like the same questions that we'll talk about Tunisian crochet and I'll do like a live demonstration. I have a lot of plans for the channel. You can tell. <laughs> um, Is my straw messed up? Oh, it is. It's not connected. <laughs> um, but yeah, make sure y'all stay hydrated out there. It's hot. Oh, it's getting hotter. Make sure you drink your water. I got the... I don't know if y'all are on TikTok, but the Miyoki cup is gone rampant on TikTok. <laughs> and I got mine off of Amazon. Um, and this, and my son drew all over the backside of it, but this is the, almost dropped it. This is the 50 ounce cup 
and you have like a straw and then like if it's a hot so like if you wanted 50 ounces of hot chocolate <laughs> then you can like open up the top you know and i love this cup so much and i got it on sale and it's my favorite Yes, hot and humid here. Supposed to tornado storm soon. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Tornadoes like freak me out. They really do. They really do. But yeah, guys. So I'm about to head off for the day. <sighs> Oklahoma. Wow. It's 82 here in Clarksville, Tennessee. Oh, I think it's like... I think the last time I checked or when I was outside, it was like 72. This was earlier in the day. It was beautiful. Brutal, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's getting up there. I miss the cozy weather. And I know, like, most of the time in crochet and knit, we, like, kind of slow down creating during the summer. Um, but I don't. I crochet all year round. 30, rainy, and windy. Oh, my goodness. That sounds like my type of weather. <laughs> Honestly, if I could live somewhere, if I could live somewhere where it was fall all year round I would be in paradise <laughs> I love I love the rain and the wind I just don't like being in it <laughs> I like to have like my window open and listen to it but I don't actually like to be in it um so yeah, everyone, let me know what you guys think. Um, Wednesday is coming up. Hey, what kind of hat will you make? Oh, I'm making a cat beanie. Um, this is what it looks like so far. What you do is you crochet it flat. You seam it up the sides in the back and then close the top off. And it will make like a cat. I'm sorry. Every time I look at this, I'm really starting to think that it's going to be too small. But then, I don't know. It always seems to be enough. Hope you're having a blessed day. I am. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. But yeah, um, if you're interested in making your own cat beanie. and Or you're interested in winning the giveaway for cat beanie or anything check out my pin video in this live stream i'm gonna leave this up for a little bit um where i'm giving away a kit a crochet kit and um reviewing all the other stuff but yeah guys i'm tired i'm gonna take a nap i gotta make dinner <laughs> um i hope you guys have a wonderful day Check out the video, enter the giveaway, and I will see y'all on Wednesday. Have a wonderful day, and as always, create something gorgeous. Bye, guys.